Hi folks and welcome to the COPS Quick Tip Series. I'm going to try and put out a series of videos that will help you get used to working in COPS and hopefully make the compositing context in Houdini a little bit more fun to use and a little bit easier to use for uh, average Houdini users. It is an underutilized context in Houdini. It is a little bit of an older context, but I think quite capable and has some very interesting features. The tips will broadly be applicable across any kind of compositing operations that you might need to do in Houdini, but will lean a little bit towards looking at the idea of doing substance designer procedural textures within Houdini. There's very little information out there on COPS, so hopefully you'll pick up some useful hints and tips along the way. So for this very first COPS quick tip, I'm just going to take a look at trying to get the most out of the ramp node in COPS. So let's jump in. So here we are over in Houdini. I'm just going to jump into the image context here and I'll dive into my image network. Let's change over to our composite view and let's put down a ramp node. If we pop over to our points tab here, we can see that we can add more gradient stops here. This isn't particularly artist friendly to use. Um, it does have maybe the advantage that you can hit enter over a viewport and you can grab the uh, little handles here to move around your ramp, but it's not particularly nice to build out our gradients like this. So a little tip that I found was if you put down a lookup and we change it from a LUT source file to a color ramp parameter, we get the more standard Houdini gradient, which is actually quite nice to use. And we get our little drop down here and we get our nice different colors. So I can set this to plasma. And now I have the color ramp lookup that I'm more comfortable using uh, instead of the more old school one that you find in COPS by default. So I found this generally a little bit easier to use. Um, it does have sort of an added bonus of you can come back here and you can still use your handles to try and get some interesting type gradients. So it is really taking our black and white gradient and pumping it and remapping those black and white colors to our new gradients down here. I hope you like the COPS quick tip series and hopefully this tip will help you build some beautiful gradients in COPS. Thanks for your time and I'll catch you in the next video.